I have to love being able to kill a summoner before he can summon. Easiest way to kill mobs is to not let them spawn. So this connects to where I just was before, but when I was there it wasn't loading. This was a dead end just three seconds ago, so looks like there is a loading error there. Don't know if that's lag or just a glitch, which happens when you're playing online games from time to time. I have finally rid myself of the There's dark influence go. seeking to subdue me. And now I see things as they truly are. This conspiracy among the insolent townsfolk to weaken me by stealing Aldrecht away will not stand. Perhaps the heads of their women and children on pikes will bring them clarity. So, looks like our scoundrel can learn a new ability, so here's our two choices. Powered Shot deals massive damage in an area and knocks back enemies. Multi-Shot, the scoundrel's attacks shoot multiple bolts. That sounds helpful. Oh, I do that extremely well. So we need to go over here based on what we, where we were being pinged before. So we are here. So let's head down here and see if that brings us over there. Get off of there. Oh, looks like we got a champion here. And I'm jailed again. So, let's see. We've got a new sword. Same damage per second. 1 to 2 arcane damage instead of holy. And monster kills grant 8 experience. So, pretty much exactly the same. So I'm going to keep what I have. Since what I have does 2 to 3 holy damage instead of 1 to 2 arcane. Other than that, doesn't look like I've gotten anything I can use. Except I am running out of space, so I will have to head back to town soon. To sell and salvage. Looks like the entrance to the... Chamber of Suffering is right there, though. Why? Are you afraid? No. I was just wondering what was taking you, sir. Mia must be back in Tristram, crying over the old man's corpse. She'll soon have another one to cry over. Yours. Meet the Butcher. I feel like we dealt with this dude in Diablo 1. At least I remember a boss called the Butcher. But when you're dealing with the demons of hell, I guess a resurrection every now and then is to be expected. Ouch, that's a hell of a knockback. shouldn't have gotten that, I just healed myself. Oh well, got another one over in the other corner there. Looks like I should hopefully be able to just stand here and beat on him. Oh, 
Let's see if I can get, I can't get out of here. Oh no. Q. There we go. Wrong hotkey. Come on, there we go. Just head back over here. There we go. So we've got him down to half. A little bit below it now. Potion. Let's get off of the fire. Healing well. Off of the fire. A few hits on him, and I can heal myself. Oh damn it! Ow! 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 Fire burns. Healing well. Okay, so I can use another potion. A couple of hits on him and I'll be able to heal as well. There we go. Potion. Ouch. Heal. heal. Get out of the fire. And he is nearly dead. Come on. There we go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just get over here. That was close. Especially when he's got so little health left. Oof. The truth about the Butcher Demon was more startling than I ever anticipated. Evidently, there are many of them within the Burning Hells. Though they used to be solely under Diablo's command. The Butchers are stitched together from the parts of other demons to combine their strengths, then given life through wicked magic. So, I have a mace I can't use, a chest that is worse than mine, a staff I, am, I can't use, or I can, but I'm not going to, and a helm. Plus one strength instead of eight, seven dexterity, less armor, 5% better chance of finding magical item, increased gold and health pickup by two yards, so. Thus, if I equip it, production goes down by 0.1%, damage goes up by 1.5, though. Um, I'll take the damage. So, sounds like Deckard explained how we just fought a butcher if we already killed one in the first Diablo. Before we go on, I'm going to teleport to town real quick, though. Uh, we'll need to sell and salvage. So, salvage. I'm going to salvage everything, including the mace, since I can't use it. So I'll see about training him in a little bit. First, I'll sell everything to what kind of money I've got. There we go. So I've got 13,000 gold. Training him costs 4,000 for artisan experience. Another 4,000, another 4,000. So I'm down to 1,000 gold, and he is most of the way to level 3. Or a little bit over half. Let's throw this in the stash, and then I'm going to be right back, because I just need to grab some drink.
Okay, so let's continue onward to find the stranger. Do you miss that girl? Who? The farmer's daughter. I miss every farmer's daughter. Take up your sword, my sword. I remember now. I was an archangel of the high heavens. I was the embodiment of justice. Totally called I it. Was. I am Tyrael. You have restored my mind, friend. And now, I remember the warning I came to deliver. The Lyle and Asmodan, the last lords of hell, are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, the Lyle's shadow has fallen upon Chaldean. I am the hand of the gods. The Lyle and his demons do not frighten me. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. Let's collect this real quick. Nope, mine's better. And then back to Tristram. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. And how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. Let us bury your uncle. Then we will have justice for your uncle's killers. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart. So talk to caravan leader once I'm ready to go. So before I do real quick, I'm going to salvage this one thing that I got. that up here. Let's talk to Tyrael a bit. Who is Belial? And who is Asmodan? Belial is the Lord of Lies. He desires power before all other things, and his thousand schemes are designed toward this end. His brother, Asmodan, reigns over the other half of Hell as the Lord of Sin. I sense his influence in this world, but I do not yet know where he will strike. Then we find the lion, and he will lead us to his brother. They are more rivals than allies in these days, but I pray that you are right. So let's head over here and talk to him as well, since I haven't done that in a while. I wish to hear more of your grandfather, King Leoric's chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father, Chaldean at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying save lives. Don't know if he succeeded. There it is. When the skeleton king fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. It pleases me to hear the story. Your grandfather was a good man, and surely the gods smile upon him. I am surprised to see you working so soon after your wife's passing. There's no point in hiding my face in a pillow. You need weapons, I make weapons. Work needs getting done. I find your devotion admirable, and the quality of your work is impressive. We will speak again. You mentioned your father. Tell me of him. My father was a diplomat. He had a manor in Chaldea. Servants, terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. 
Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one could speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. But it did not. No. I'd rather not talk about it now. I have work to see to. I can tell by the look in your eye that you're not going to leave it alone. Do you want to hear what happened to my father? I know it weighs upon you. Right, well. My father tried to dispel the rumors about my grandfather. No one would listen. Then one night, a week later, crazed refugees from Tristram came for revenge. I remember my father screaming for us to get out. Nasty laughter. A lot of it. Just before justice shoved me out the window, I saw my father crawling up the stairs at me. The two daggers in his back, and the third whipping round his throat. Your father died to protect you. There are worse things in this world than that. Ged is dead. Doesn't matter if you've been a good person or a bad one. People die and leave everything behind. I've done enough talking for now. There's work to do. Your father was a good man. That is enough. So it doesn't look like he has anything else to say right now. Let's talk to the Templar, though, since he does. I do not know much of your order. Were you born a Templar? No. Our scripture says, as a farmer reaps his wheat, so must the order harvest and purify the weeds. We have a similar verse. Seek balance in all things. The absence of flood is drought. The impossibility of weeds is famine. If you are a weed Templar, you have found such a balance. Not all people can be as strong as you. I certainly was not. You spoke of failures in your past. This will weigh you down until you speak of them. I cannot tell you. Speak of these sins to me. I can help you cleanse them. You misunderstand me. We are literally unable to recall our pasts. The Inquisitors stripped my sins and the memory of them from me, leaving me pure. So I'm just going through and talking to a few of these guys, just learn a little bit about them. More of your order. Why do they forbid you to have a past? Our initiation blinds us to our sinful pasts, so that we might clearly see the future and prepare for the final battle. And how do they remove these memories? I was chained to a wall and beaten. By the third day, I was mad from pain and hunger. And that is when the whipping began. I was told I relived all of my transgressions. Everything that brought me tainted joy. The whip took away that joy in the sin, leaving me pure. That is not training. Training is discipline. Mastery of self. Don't you understand? The Templar Order is trying to protect humanity from extinction. What is my pain against that goal? So sounds like joining the Templars is the pretty horrific. The world is chaos. We find our own balance. A noble goal. You agree, but you do not understand. To find balance, you must see all. Is it not possible that you have no sins to forget, that you have been lied to? I cannot lie. That has occurred to me. But if it were true, it would ruin everything I fight for. Everything. This looks like he's done for now as well, so... I've sold everything I've got. Just make sure I don't have to repair, and then I should be on my way. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. My friend, shall we depart to Caldea? So, finishing Act One and on to Act Two.
Beckett sacrificed much to protect this world. But his work is not over. What would you know about sacrifice? Period. The ancient law of the High Heaven strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice. While you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. So another patented blizzard, absolutely awesome cutscene. Tyrael once again proving that he is a massive badass. Now that Tristram is safe, I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. There's our Templar buddy. There's our blacksmith. Here we are, Galdean. Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. We will split up. You two search for Belial while I hunt Magda. Cain's death must be avenged. these refugees come from? I am not a guard. I am a Shearer, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, but even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. My enemy. 
The gods have led me to you. Where can I find Magda? She's heading toward Arcanus, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. So I have to look for and go through the Sundered Canyon. Terio and I learned that while the Iron Wolves were fighting Magda in the desert, the Emperor replaced them with Imperial Guards who far off from the inner city. I suspect that the Iron Wolves were sent out to die. The Lyle has made his move. We must find a way into the city. As a child, I explored Chaldean while Uncle Deckard studied here. I can get in through the sewers. Good. Learn what you can while I hunt Magda. Be careful. Alcarnas sounds like Magda's trap. So while they go off and do that, I have to find the Sundered Canyon. This gate leads to Alcanus. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. That would spare me the trouble of finding them. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. Well, now. It's my lucky day. There are illusions out there. Mirages to some. But I can see them for what they are. Coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. Thank you for the warning. But I do not fear the cultist's magic. That's rather easy to spot. So it looks like I've got a new companion with me. An enchantress. So I have a melee. A... Ranged and for the time being at least a caster. So that's useful. Even if we can only have one at a time. The Lacuni, or Panther Men as they are sometimes called, have inhabited the desert wastes east of Chaldeum for thousands of years. The large males are the tribe's leaders and protectors, while the agile females are expert hunters. Mostly they are primitive and reclusive creatures, although they will attack if cornered or hungry. Okay, so these little wasp-like things are really annoying. Wait to use that ability. They shoot these little ones that explode on impact. I like to hide up in the rocks where melee can't get to them. Fortunately, I have two ranged people with me. Be careful. They are very near to us. Ooh, the road is blocked. You should never have known. Even for face to your bones. Magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. Thank you, Arena. But I do not believe you have told me the truth about your presence here. Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Captain, from behind! Protect the people! Iron Wolf! <laughs> Looks like the big guy. Oh, looks like I killed him. Managed to throw him across the map in the process. For you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. I traveled to Alcanus. Will there be more of these Lacuni on the road? Even worse, cultists are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. So, we need to disrupt the cultists in both the locations. The Hidden Conclave Ritual and the Secret Altar Ritual. It's a lot of crates for just 28 gold. There 
There's another illusion here. The cultists tried to hide their footsteps. Their spells are weak and easily held. If we follow these prints, we can find our lair and halt the rituals. I will seek out any other traces of their magic. Thresher is an elusive being with a tremendous capacity for bloodshed. It lurks beneath the sands, rising up to seize prey in its jaws and rend the body until it is but- Look! More hidden footprints! Fallen are indeed creatures of demonic origin. The old Haradric tale claims they were once powerful servants of the mythical Asmodan. They purportedly aided him in his battle against the prime evils, and Diablo later punished them by twisting them into the small, stupid forms they now possess. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. As long as you aren't an illusion too. Whatever do you mean? with some reluctance that I write on the seven. Oh, man. Oops. Journal. It is with there some we go. reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demons, and even whispering... Look, more hidden footprints. Oh, come on, let me listen. It is with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demons, and even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me. They are divided into the lesser evils, the Lyle, Asmodan, Juriel, and Andaril, and the prime evils, Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. Come on, there we go. So this doesn't look like the place where we have to go, just another side dungeon. Poison. A hard fight. Time to loot. Come on, 
There we go. So it doesn't look like I got anything I can use, once again. More champions. Should get out of that poison, probably. And then I walk right back into it. That's smart. And more stuff I can't use. I'm just looking for either the teleporter back to the beginning, or the entrance to the second level. Which will contain a teleporter back to the beginning. Ouch! He swallowed me and then spit me out. Guess I don't taste good. Adventure ring. Monster kills grant plus seven experience. So before we sell the next time, I have to check which rings the scoundrel has. And I got swallowed again. Not that time. And he leveled up, which is nice. Dead end. Heal up. Might as well, since we've got the spear and are not doing anything else but running around right now. And that's a shrine. I thought it was the teleporter for a minute. Teleporter should arrive soon. Nope. Level 2 instead. So this is a little bit bigger than most of these so far have been. The side ones that I've said are usually on the small side. Even though I probably can't use any of it. Uh, that's two-handed. I think one-handed weapons. This is exactly, almost exactly the same. A little bit worse than what I've got. So, basically nothing useful again. So while the first level was pretty big, the second one is very small. It's just this one room. The champion. 
who actually gave me something I cannot use. One more armor, but intelligence instead of dexterity, because I'm melee. Dexterity is far more important, as intelligence is basically useless. As a stat. Intelligence is always always useful to have. Lots of gold and some items. So let's head back to the footprints that I was following. Look, more hidden footprints. There we go. Ooh, some champions. Fear, again. I hate fear in this game. Identified item there. Identify it once I kill all these guys. My path becomes clearer. Sweet. Let's identify this. Which looks like it should definitely be better than the shoulders I've got now. 46. Regenerates one life per second. Five percent better chance of finding magical items. Monster kills. Grant plus three experience. Health globes. Grant plus forty-five life. So the armor is actually the same, and the one I have right now gives six plus six strength and extra gold. So I'd say the ones I have now are actually better than this. And I found someone's cellar. Wad the cannibal. So apparently cannibalism makes you super strong in the Diablo universe. And he has heals. Or a life steal at least. I can be I must wait to use that ability. Okay, so he's actually pretty tough. Really tough, actually, because his lifesteal basically means that I can't really do anything to him. We get him down, and then he just steals my life to regen his. There's not enough room for me to just dodge indefinitely. So, I have an idea. I'm gonna get out of there. See if this ring was any good. No, it wasn't. So then we are going to equip a different weapon here, or a different attack. It looks like I've got some a new skill, Serenity. Become immune to all attacks and control effects for three seconds. And that should include Have you been to before? the fear, but I like this heal. Cyclone Strike. Can we place the seven-sided strike? Move with blinding speed and strike nearby enemies while being immune to attacks yourself. I'll give that one a shot. I've got a new passive skill. Transcendence. Every point of spirit spent heals you for 2.9 life. That sounds extra awesome. 
So let's try this again. Yeah, so it looks like my DPS just isn't high enough. That was awesome, though. So getting him down just barely into the 400s, but then he heals all the way back up. So looks like I may have just enough here. There we go. That was actually really tough. Ichor, we were crazed with starvation from three days with no food, but that is no excuse for what we have done. Day seven, I cannot face what I have become. Day ten, I hunger, but I am patient. Someone will come for me, and then I will feed again. Just ignore that one. Oh, oh, he followed. Now back to following the footprints. think I got as much out of that one as I have some of the others, but hey, free gold is free gold. Quite the weather out here. This is no time to bask in sun. Oh wow. Probably enjoying it. Why shouldn't we? That's a nice increase. That's useless. Okay, so it looks like I have to go this way. Look, more hidden footprints. That's actually a nice little detail, stepping on the scorpions like that. It's little things like that that show you that when they were doing this, they actually were paying attention to what they were doing. So probably shouldn't have charged in there with empty spirit. Because then I wasn't able to use my good attacks. I have been healed. Look, more hidden footprints. Oh, wow, lots of lizards and demons. Otherwise, nothing useful. It's 
See, that time I had spirit. some more deranged cultists to kill. There. That ought to dispel the coven's magic. Let us go to the bridge. So I have to go to the Black Canyon Bridge now, which was being hidden by their magic. Tell me, what shall you do when Magda is dead? I will see the Lord from Hell, Belial and Asma. Down and destroyed. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. So I have a feeling this trick probably becomes another companion like the Templar and the Scoundrel at some point. I think it is time for you to know my true tale. I am not from Chaldea. I learned these spells 1,500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. Our meeting was clearly the work of the gods. Join me. I believe you will make a powerful ally in this fight. Called it. Replace the scoundrel with the enchantress. Uh, sure. We'll see how useful she is. So, let's see. She has level 15, so she has two spells I can choose from. One is charm. Temporarily charms an enemy to fight for you. The other is forceful push. Creates an explosion that deals massive damage and knocks back enemies. So, I'm gonna go with charm. Having an enemy fight for us could prove useful. Do men in your land really dress in that manner? In my home. Now, to the Kasim outpost. You will find it to the north, though it is still some distance away. So just making sure it's unlocked. Doesn't hurt to double check. Find the Kasim outpost. So, I have a feeling following the road will be the easiest way. But going off the road will take you longer because you have to go through and fight all these guys like this. But it's also how you'll find other dungeons and champions like this. in their fears. They like fear too much in this game. It's actually starting to become pretty annoying when it happens. I learned much from that. So okay, I've got some stronger healing potions that I can put down here. So magic sh soldier, shoulders, definite improvement, more armor, dexterity instead of strength, and more of it, and plus nine experience from monsters. Always helpful. Oops. Wrong hockey again. That's how it wasted... 50 spear, though. My will falters. So standing in poison, not a good idea, but these things are just annoying the hell out of me with how much they want run away. There we go. 
So let's run a bit and let him come to us, and then we can kill him. There we go. So not liking these mosquito-like beast pest things. Uh, they're quite irritating. No illusion. The cultists have blocked the road. I must go through the Kasim outpost to the west. So to the west is going to mean over here. Hopefully, there isn't exactly a compass for me to use. So I'm not sure if they're putting up these walls. Oh yeah, this guy says Waller. But it's actually helping me since I can hit them, but they can't hit me when the walls are up. So they actually did me a favor there. I'd thank them, but I already killed them. Ah, more of these damn things. My injuries are too severe. level one. So I like that they give you a companion of each class, melee, ranged, and caster. So depending on what your character is depends on which companion you can bring with you. So for me, ranged or caster would be best. These 17 demons are Belial's favored servants, and he has granted them some of his skill in cunning and illusion. Deceivers will cloak themselves in the familiar forms of their enemies' companions and friends, waiting to strike when the moment is opportune. It is only then that their true forms are revealed. The deserts of Kejistan are majestic, expansive, and full of stinging swarms of insects. They may seem a minor nuisance, but these vermin carry numerous strains of pestilence. One of them was trapped in my boot once, and my foot swelled up to the size of a melon before the infection cleared. What horrible creatures! I haven't done anything yet. Not even halfway through this thing. I must lessen my burden. There we go. So I'll probably head to town in a little while, so I can sell. I cannot carry more. 
Okay, so I'll grab these two by dropping this and this, the regular, not magical. These deserts are so empty. You sound troubled. No. There is an emptiness within me as well. Oh, she can't use this. Uh, she can't use that. She needs a two-handed staff. I have none of those. I can give her some rings, though. Let's see. Each hit adds plus one life. And two to four damage. Doesn't hurt. And now, let's head back to town. And sell some of this stuff. Just to clear up my inventory. Sell the rest. Hey, you most of my items have almost no blood left on them. Looks like I forgot to salvage one thing. Make sure it's actually not useful. Nope. Now I need six thousand for his next level. Hope that this doesn't prove to just be a huge waste of money actually having him level up, but we'll see. Most of my items have no Only one way to tell if it does or not. Actually, let's see what items this guy has. Oh, I've, everything I've got equipped seems to be. Quite a bit better. Trinkets. So I need something for my neck. Attack speed increased by 6%. Each hit adds 3 life. Sold. And 2 to 4 damage. That I will give to her. There we go. Now to back out to the dungeons to resume searching for the Kasim outpost. After we go through the ruins. Dexterity. Uh, that'll replace my plus eight dexterity. Sweet. So to explore this whole thing, there's this little bit that I haven't yet. Looks like this is more than just a little bit. Stupid bugs. I hate bugs. Come on. So much for that wonderful pathing path I was praising before. Do you see that enemy over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. My wounds are closing.
Okay. Crossbow I can use. And a shield I can use. Actually, a shield I could use. I just don't want to. With the shield, you take considerably less damage because you can block and it increases your armor, but you also do a lot less damage because you only have one weapon that you're attacking with. Versus two. Sweet. And the treasure goblin. of sweet gold. Anything I can actually use though? Another ring plus 16 dexterity, regenerate one life per second. That'll replace my 13 dexterity. And wrists that I can't use. Or rather that I don't need. So in terms of the environment, it's a lot of the same stuff that you've seen in Diablo 2 if you played it. Uh, you've got your dungeons, your desert, ruins, all that good stuff so far. But a lot of the new, or a lot of the mobs are familiar. Uh, there are similar ones in the past games, but in here they're new in slightly different ways. Or they're different in slightly, or just barely. Apparently, I can't speak today. Whoa. Try to kill these guardian towers. I must wait to use that ability. Champion set of bugs. That's new. Oh, they killed the Enchantress. She waited 1500 years to meet me, and then she dies a few hours later. That's a bad bit of luck. So, anything useful? Uh, a sword I can't use, a belt I can't use, an axe I can't use, and a belt and a pair of gloves that are. Actually, really good. So this one I'll lose 90 life because it doesn't have plus 9 vitality, but has 10 more armor. This one I'll lose 1.8 damage because it has doesn't have the dexterity, but it's got 22 more armor. So I'll take them. These, I'd say the 90 life is worth more than the 10 armor. Sweet. Deadly Reach Rune unlocked. Keen Eye. Exploding Palm Rune unlocked. The Flesh is weak. So, more useless items here. Wave of Light Rune unlocked. Wall of Light. So, let's check some of these. So, Deadly Reach. I'm not using it, but the rune is Keen Eye. The third strike increases your armor for a limited time. I'm going to stick with Crippling Wave with Mangle, which increases its damage. Wave of Light, I got a rune. Increased damage of the initial strike. going to stick with the Lashing Tail Kick for now. Exploding Palm got a rune. The Flesh is weak. Your target takes additional damage from attacks. going to stick with... I'll stick with Dashing Strike for now. 
It looks like I'm good. Two more levels and I get another passive skill, though, which is awesome. Really liking the skill system so far. So I got some gloves that are no good. As far as side dungeons go, this one seems like the biggest one yet. But I found some cool stuff and have gotten a crap ton of gold so far. And here's the exit. Oh. Almost missed us. It is not my intention. Belial, Lord of Lies, is the most elusive of the seven evils and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This began the Burning Hell's civil war, which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. Well, it's nice to know the Lords of Hell like to kill each other as much as they like to kill us. They're equal opportunity Lords of Hell. I will return. Wow, that was very close. Really not liking those pests. But then I guess they wouldn't be pests if you actually did like them. And in cellar. Already took everything I can. Let's see if it was anything good. Health globes grant plus 48 life. And that's about it. Magic bow that I can't use. Ooh. 
Not sure when I got this, but that's a good good upgrade. So now back to looking for the Kasim outpost. It looks like I've explored not quite all of this yet. I'm guessing there's probably not a whole lot up here though. But we'll see. My luck if I don't go check it out now, it'll end up being right where it is, and I spend the next hour running around looking somewhere else. If you become thirsty, I can conjure up some water for you. The Valrus manuscript lists Asmodan as the best battlefield commander of all demons. Having defeated the angels many times in the eternal conflict across Pandemonium and the prime evils in the demonic civil war. If the Lord of Sin ever assaults our realm, we truly have much to fear. So it looks like I found the Casino outpost, so good thing I came back up here. I'm gonna get this waypoint. Captain of the Guard, you are hereby ordered to send a band of your most loyal men to secure the Kasim outpost. Control of the city hangs by a thread. The commoners are becoming restless, and it is imperative that we subdue them. Remain vigilant, for there may already be an outsider within our borders looking to stir up trouble. Okay, so I just found the Kasim outpost. Um, this looks like a good place to stop because it is 2 a.m. So I have four and a half hours until I have to wake up for work and I need sleep. So we're going to take a break here and then we will be back hopefully tomorrow or over the weekend for some more. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.